I started off really, really excited. So Emma was quite organised, actually. She was up really early, though, wasn't she? They kept me out of the house. I had jobs from 6 o'clock this morning all the way through till probably half past 11. And I know consciously I had to keep away from Emma. We spark each other off. All for the right reasons. I consciously just kept away. Got my dress, which was amazing. Couldn't wait for the day. Then anxiety hit. I felt really nervous. Nervous more for saying my vows, not for the fact that I was marrying him. <laughs> just of actually getting the words right. In the car, we were very calm, which was unusual for us. A really good morning. Jamie obviously stayed over and the guys popped over the first thing. Everything's very laid back in the morning. It was great. Had a great breakfast to kind of settle the nerves. Ashley and Jamie went off in their Ferrari. Scott and Dave came at nine. They were on time. And Ashley wasn't there. He's dreadful <laughs> at getting ready. We went to the pub for a couple of sharpeners. The best men were really good at keeping my nerves steady. I didn't really feel anxious or worried because I was so confident in the decision we've made to get married. He was supposed to go at 11 and he went at half past 20 to 12. And he was supposed to be at the church at 12. I thought the anxiety would set in in the morning, but it just never appeared. Went off to the church. Emma brought him a lovely pocket watch with their day on. Beautiful it was. He was very excited, but he was very emotional. We had a little bit of disaster when we got out of the car, didn't we? There's just so much mess on the road. Hawthorn and all the bits and rubbish on the floor got straight to a veil that moment when the door shut and it's silent probably a six seven out of ten nerves wise then the traditional music came on she walked down the aisle and i did my utmost to not really peak felt all fine until my dad started crying that's when i could feel the emotion coming she looked so stunning then dad sopped his whole way down the aisle she looked stunning and i think him turning around and seeing her <laughs> you can't believe it really can you and then seeing ash the end of the aisle which is just, yeah, perfect. Emma, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. Ashley, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. The Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. I give you a... Emma, you look incredible today. You are a beautiful woman and a wonderful daughter. You have married a terrific man and you will make a perfect wife and mother. So no pressure, Ash. <laughs> when I did propose, she hesitated slightly before saying yes. I was slightly worried, she was unsure, but it turns out she was already counting the number of vegetarians that were going to be at the wedding. <laughs> There's loads of you. <laughs> Nothing could have prepared me for what I saw when you came down the aisle. I want everyone to know how lucky I feel to have Emma as my partner in life. We've had a great 10 years together and I can't wait to spend the rest of our days together. Me and Scott quite vividly remember the day that Ash came up to us at college and said, I've got a new girlfriend and that she's a rugby player. <laughs> I'm building up this image in my mind of like Miss Trunchbull. <laughs> Okay, you know, a big, big lady. <laughs> but instead, he goes and blags himself the wonderfully stunning Emma. <laughs> They've been together about two or three months. So we're at college in the cafeteria, all like 16 year olds. Ash was talking about some other girl with his mates. Emma picked up on this, and rightly so, pulled him up on it. It was like, what are you say? Ash was like, it's not like we're gonna get married or anything. <laughs> There's a line that Janet Rolls told me one time when he was late for school for about the fifth day in a row. If we were all the same day, it would be boring. <laughs> and Janet, you're absolutely spot on.
I wish them the best future that anybody could have. They've had 10 years together in November. Emma keeps his feet on the ground. I just wish them luck and happiness and health. I really wish them, Emma and Ashley, really well for the rest of their life. You can see the love they have for each other and, and good luck to them. And, uh, and I really hope they enjoy their life together. Have a happy friendship. Hopefully a family, eventually. No pressure. Enjoy life. He's a fantastic guy. She's a fantastic girl and I just love them to bits. Ashley and Emma just enjoy each other, laugh together, love each other and have a good time. Emma, I think these 10 years are just the beginning and we've got so many more years together to spend. Who knows what the future will hold, but I do know one thing, it would be a good thing. Ashley, I love you and thank you for the most perfect day ever. Be the best.